So when I was about four or five years old, my dad uh, put me on rollerblades for the first time. I remember it was really hard. I, I felt a lot of times, but day after day, he was working with me, and uh, I got better and better. When you have that sort of quality that David has that he has just put on skates three years ago and gets taken first overall, I think the first thing you think is, what, what an athlete. And how far can we take this is the next question. My dad is a hockey coach. When he moved from Latvia to Israel, he was helping me so much every day. He just, you know, on the on the roller place, he wasn't my dad, he was my coach. About when I was 10 or 11 years old, I told my parents I want to move to Canada and make my dream come true. But they told me it's too early, I'm too young yet. So I waited a year and I came to my dad and told him I'm a man now. I think I can do it and I want to make my dream come true. So he said, okay, no problem. And we had a meeting with me, mom and dad. It was really hard for my mom. I don't know how she is, she is now, but you know, she's still supporting me and everything, but it's really hard for her. He like came in like the part of the family. He was like not very good with my daughter when he came in. I brushed my teeth, but he comes in the washroom instead and I started being late and stuff and I got really mad and we hated each other at first. But now everything changed and he's like a brother to me and I really... When he came to our family, right, the part of the family, we have a dog, right, and we need to take the dog for a walk outside. In the evening sometimes I was asking him to take the dog when he was coming back from school and he told no, when it's getting dark, he was scared of the coyotes because they might have come outside of the forest. <laughs> I remember he didn't speak much English back then and you know I'd always talk to him and you know just see how he's doing. He's, uh, he's a pretty far place away from home. He went to school with the, everybody to speak English. So I used to study with him and I used to review words and be like oh this is how you say it not like this. He started to speak English very fast. I went to a trust for the Hill Academy and didn't really know how to stop. I went a couple of times to the boards, but you know, I didn't give up. You know, in Israel he played ball hockey, so his hands were obviously very talented. And Halfway through the practice, a triple-A coach saw me, and he's saying, David is not a double-A player, he can play triple-A. Trying to send that one down low, and it gets taken for a two-on-one. Lasarczyk, back for 11, they score! This gets pretty special. Back home, my family and my friends, they still can't believe it how an Israeli kid uh, from Israel who never stepped on the ice and just was playing roller base for fun, moved to Canada when he was 12 and went for overall. The first couple weeks went really well. It was a really easy adjustment for us. Well, he had some uh, some sand on his shoes, I guess, and he didn't want to, or no, he wasn't wearing socks, that's what it was. And uh, he didn't want to walk around without any socks, so he f asked if he should keep his shoes on. But uh, so we thought that was a cute moment, and obviously it shows that he's very polite and very respectful. I got really lucky. I just stepped in the door and I saw these people faces, and I knew that's the family I want, and I was really comfortable with them. We have a two-year-old daughter, and she's very attached to David. And in the morning, she stands at the gate, and when he gets upstairs, she has a mini stick, and she hands it to him, and he follows her to the kitchen and plays mini sticks with her. I don't like really to talk, and I like to be in my room and relax and watch TV, but with this family, it's, uh, they took me out of it. Like, every day I'm coming home now, I'm not going to my room. I know I'm staying here with them, talking and playing with the kids, and I'm having fun with it. When you're in a position that our team was last year, it's one of those things where you start looking at maybe the top five players in Ontario. I think first of all, you have to look at him, his athleticism. and It's not just his skill. He's not afraid to throw his body around. He's not afraid to take a hit to make a play. He's one of those guys that for me is just a franchise player. He's an impact player right now at 16. Back in Israel last summer, I'm just laying down in my bed around 9 p.m. My brother in his bed and my dad watching TV. Mom, when you hear the sirena, it's really scary. You just hear the sirena, it's going full sound and you don't know what to do. It's my first time and every house in Israel have a shoulder, a big room, it's a hard room, so nothing will happen to it. And where I live, you have 45 seconds together before a bomb drops. I moved here and uh, I will not go to the army, but you know, it's really hard because I have a dream and I want to make it true. Obviously, my goal is to make the NHL, but first, I'm thinking about my family and obviously to move my family here after I make the NHL.